My name is Omar Alberto, and I've been a bottling agent for many, many years. What is my happiest memory? That is such a tough question because I have loads of happy memories. So if I have to say which one in particular is the first time I gave my mother an American Express card and said, I want you to go crazy on it, which she didn't, of course. I am the happiest actually in Villa Cáceres, Panama, on a basketball court playing with my mates. I'm Chris, I'm the chef owner of Night Market Restaurants. I am at my happiest, I think, when I'm on the road. Getting into trouble, having adventures, meeting people, meeting old friends. Most of the good stuff that's come about in my life has come about because I've gotten off the couch, I've left my house, I've gone to like a new place and always ended up just like meeting new friends. And so now at 40, I have a good, a great group of friends all over the world that, uh, and that's probably, you know, what I value most. My name is Nicola Bini and uh, I'm an architect. People that are close to me, it's really close, sort of mockingly say that I design my life as if it were a project. And maybe that's not so bad. I believe in the power of design. I, b I believe that we have intuition, especially if guided by nature, to get us in, out of all sorts of trouble. And I definitely look at life as, as a design opportunity. And I like to look at the horizon and see where I would like to go. I'm Zach Calderon and I'm an actor. I very much feel like everything happens for a reason, whether we understand it in that moment or not. I think we all go through crazy, horrible tragedies and triumphs all at the same time, and it's those things that make us who we are. It's those things that shape us and form us. I do not recall ever seeing my mother sad. And funny enough, I found out when she traveled how many of the trials of tribulations she lived through to make sure that I was fine because she always kept it happy. She was this happy life in my whole entire neighborhood. They knew my mother as this light bulb whenever she walked by the street, always well, you know, her hair pulled back perfectly, always looked like just came out of a Chanel show. You know, she was always well put together and she was just about happy. She never brought negativity into my life or to any of her kids. We never knew the hard times. I think what would make me happy in terms of changes in the world is just people talking like this, like they did before everyone had a device. Really connecting, really talking to people, getting out and meeting people, having the adventures that you would have if you weren't buried in your device. There's a lot of happy moments in one's life, and I hope that we all cherish those. Yeah, family gives me a lot of, um, a lot of joy. My children, my parents, my wife, uh, my dog. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. My mom and I strangely call grief our superpower. We've experienced a lot of it in our life. My father passed when uh, I was two in a car accident, and my brother had passed about now three years ago. My happiest memory is when after this my family took a trip to New York and we were sitting around a table at this random Italian restaurant we had found in Midtown and they brought over a giant tub of chocolate mousse and they plopped it on our plates. And I remember my little brother's face like lighting up and my family laughing. And to go from seeing immense grief and pain to also seeing such joy and elation is kind of the best feeling. So I don't know, they're always there whether you know it or not. My happiest smell is my mother's fruitcake during Christmas. My favorite sight is looking out at the ocean uh, on the coast of Rava. I love the female form and I love feeling my wife's body at night. I love snuggling with her. My happiest sound is laughter.
I mean, my favorite taste is my mother's fruitcake that she made every Christmas. I'm happy just to be with you, brother. I'm just you know, so honored and happy to be with you.